All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the uh, Freedom Apartment <laughs> up north. Uh, and I'm sitting here working on where the hell did it go? This guy right here, the little trigger shoe, decided to go ahead and take a break. Found out that my kitchen was flooded a few minutes ago, so we had to get that all squared away. But thanks to Mr. VSO channel, I got to be honest with you, Curtis, you did save me because otherwise I wouldn't have run out here to the. Uh, the kitchen to see that the sink had overflowed when I left it and I decided to go ahead and do something else besides wash my dishes and that's it. So what are we talking about today? Judge temporarily blocks the New Mexico governor's order suspending right to carry firearms in public. All right, so Turtleicious, her highness here, who thinks that she's above the law, above the constitution in the United States. And let me just be honest with you, man, what a crock of shit. Uh, the federal judge granted a temporary restraining order against the New Mexico governor uh, Grisham's order suspending the right to carry firearms in public and around Albuquerque. I don't know if this woman has, knows what the hell's going on in the world today, but she broke the law. Okay, so this judge put a temporary restraining order. All right, the Democratic governor issued a suspension of open carry and concealed firearms in Bernalillo County and Albuquerque, the state's most populous city. The funny thing is, and I think we've talked about this before, is that this dumbass lady, okay, I think, well, she's arrogant. She's above the law. She thinks she's, uh, every, you know, what is it? The um, means justifies the ends, right? So she thinks she can do whatever she wants. And it's a little crazy. The move was met with a great pushback from gun rights groups. A lot of video guys out there. Uh, I think everybody and their mother was on this thing. Uh, because here's the thing. If you allow something like this, okay, then it becomes common practice. It keeps going further and further. It's kind of like uh, the guys up there in Oregon. I think I'm getting ready to do a video on that jackass up there. And we'll talk about that later. The move was met with pushback from gun rights, several of which filed lawsuits seeking to block the order. At least four lawsuits have been filed in federal court with Gun Owners Foundation, National Association for Gun Rights, and We the Patriots USA, among various plaintiffs, during a motion hearing Wednesday afternoon. And that's today in Albuquerque on cases, a judge granted a temporary restraining order blocking the enforcement of the governor's ban until October 3rd, according to ABC. Now, this is an ABC deal uh, affiliate, K-O-A-T in Albuquerque. That was funny. Go ahead and laugh. All right. The ruling cited that the governor's order directly conflicted with the Second Amendment, according to Senate Republican leader Greg By Baker, uh, who applauded the judge's ruling. The governor's malfeasance. And utter disregard for the Constitution is alarming, Baker said in a statement. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We hope this ruling and the vast backlash to this order sends a clear message to the governor and her allies, her ridiculous allies. The people have had enough of this BS. <laughs> That's my little input right there. And will not stand by idly and allow our freedoms and rights to be eroded. Some law enforcement officials and elected leaders also pushed back against the governor's order. This is interesting. A lot of people in the community, not associated with the Second Amendment, uh, even anti-gun people, were recognizing this as a, a complete and total violation of our Second Amendment rights. To every degree, all right? Uh, some law enforcement officials and elected leaders also pushed back against the governor's order. Bernal County John Allen, that's his county sheriff, said on Monday his office will not enforce the ban. Even so, so much, if you didn't see it, the attorney general said, yeah, we're not even going to help you out with this. So basically, this dumbass lady, this idiot, this pompous, arrogant piece of crap, basically put everybody out there and said, follow me, look what I'm doing, it's great, I'm helping. And there was like, yeah, there's this thing called the Constitution that you took an oath to uphold. And guess what? You blew it out of the water, lady. Uh, yeah, John Block and Stephanie Lord are calling for the governor to be impeached over the orders. Absolutely. Absolutely, she should be impeached because it's absolute BS. And announcing the order, Lou John Chris, Grisham acknowledged it would face immediate challenges over constitutional rights. But we had to do, I refuse to be resigned to the status quo, so I'm going to break the law, which she did. That is breaking the law, is using her office to break our constitutional rights, which is bullshit, should be pawed out on a pole, tarred and feathered. The governor told GMA3 Wednesday that she has the courage <laughs> she has the courage to take a stand against gun violence in a response to the backlash over her emergency health. You know what? No cash bail. 
That's not courage. That's falling to the caving to the needs or the pleas and the whining of a certain group of people. The, it's, it's just, I, I, I'm so sick and tired of this. What they do is they basically uh, make, let hit criminals. Here you go. No, no problem. Hey, law abiding citizen, this is your fault. Because your guns aren't locked up where you are not able to use them, that's why this is all happening. I saw a jackass on Fox News the other morning. He's like, well, you know, there, there, are, there are accidental shots for people, you know, accidentally discharging their firearms. Okay. Is that the reason why we're going to lock up and make sure that no one can carry a firearm and take them to jail? Yeah, I don't think so. Everybody's terrified of the backlash for all these political reactions. Grisham and Eva Pilgrim of GMA3 Wednesday. I told Eva Grit Pilgrim. None of these individuals or groups focus on the actual injuries or deaths of the public. You should, lady. You should actually con <laughs> concentrate on what that. How many law-abiding people are out there shooting folks? And, and, you know, the only people that would ever hear to this law. Uh, how would you feel in a city a community if people had handguns in their belts on parks near schools and public trails? Uh, you know, near, near schools, whatever, on public trails in the grocery store. I feel fine. I carry one all the time. It's outrageous and it must stop. What the hell is she talking about? Go after the gangbangers. That's how you're going to do this. Go after the people who are breaking the law and carrying a gun. That's how you're going to do it. The people like me and the people who watch this channel are not the ones that you have to worry about, you dumbass. New Mexico Attorney General Paul Torres, a fellow Democrat, has said he will not defend the state in the lawsuits regarding the public health emergency order, stating in the letter that he does not believe the order will have meaningful impact on public safety. Thank you. Somebody who gets it. When asked what she would say in response, Grisham told GMA, Good Morning America, right? She would have the same response for the other individuals. I hope that the public's response is if we now have elected leaders to have the courage to stand up for children. How about stand up for adults? How about stand up by, for children by taking the people who actually break the laws to jail and keep them in jail? And that's how you do it. But no, you can have the no cash bail. Oh, because it's an equitable thing. It's an equity thing. I don't know why we're electing individuals who aren't going to stand up for the people who need us to make sure they're safe and protected. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why we have the Second Amendment right here. This lady, tar and feather, take her out on the pole. <laughs> you know what to do. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not saying that we should get violence or anything else, but this lady is arrogant and a POS. This is the reason why our founding fathers developed this thing called the Second Amendment and the First Amendment. Yeah. So you let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thanks, Curtis, for putting that out. Thanks for saving my kitchen. And uh, that's the shotgun back down below. Uh, big funds, guns, and gear. All right, God, I can't always get his name wrong. I did order a new uh, muzzle brake for that thing. It had to be complete. So with that being said, guys, really appreciate your time. I uh, want to give a big shout out to Callaway Ballistics. Uh, you get uh, free shipping with orders over $200. want a big shout out to the guys over there at Army Craft. We are... <laughs> Still working with the springs. We got that. Uh, muzzle brakes on there. I'm uh, going to be mounting this uh, little bad boy right here. And I got a really cool deal where we're going to be uh, comparing a bunch of things. We're going to do the uh, Legion X5, the standard, uh, uh, what do you call that thing? The uh, trigger that comes with it. Or maybe, I can't remember. Uh, and then the gray guns trigger. There's going to be a lot of things going on. We always end them like this, guys. Uh, God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. The funny thing is, the funny thing, uh, uh, <laughs> you got you to gotta, you gotta appreciate the law enforcement who said, yeah, we're not doing this. Uh, this is bullshit. So I like that. And I just don't understand how a, a New Mexico ended up with a freaking governor who is this trashy. Y'all let me know. Y'all be good. It's KB32. I am out of here. Y'all be good. Take care. Bye.